The next feature that we'll add to our Slack bot is the ability to post messages periodically. To do that, we'll use Chalice's app.schedule decorator, which accepts a cron or a rate object. The cron object lets us use a Unix-like cron syntax in order to specify when our Lambda function will execute. For instance, we can say, run this function at 10 a.m. every day, or run this function at 6 p.m. UTC every Monday through Friday. The rate object allows us to simply say, run this function every hour or run this function every 30 minutes. For our next piece of functionality, we're going to use the cron-like syntax. Since we're developing a Slack bot that gets quote information from the stock market, one thing we might want to do is post a message every time the stock market opens and closes and post the opening quote for the Dow Jones, S&P 500, and other major indices. So we'll use this cron syntax for Monday through Friday. I've already begun adding this function to our Slack bot. So you'll see I have a function called market open that receives an event, and I'm already establishing a connection to Slack with our web client that receives a web token. So now I'm using this app.schedule, and I'm gonna say that we want this to execute every Monday through Friday um, at a specific time. So in UTC, the market opens at 13 hours and 30 minutes, Monday through Friday. But since it's Sunday when I'm developing this, I'm gonna go ahead and have it schedule at Sunday and have it uh, run just after we deploy this. So I'm gonna use a time of, let's say, 16 hours and 10 minutes and have that execute. And for the index values, since IEX data doesn't provide direct index values, we're gonna use uh, proxy symbols for this. So there's uh, the spider indexes for DIA, SPY, QQQ, and IWM. So this is the Dow Jones, S&P 500, uh, the Qs, so the NASDAQ 100, and the Russell 2000. And I'm gonna use the functions we've already developed to get a quote and format them. And I'm gonna use our Slack client to post a message to the channel random. One thing you'll want to do is make sure your bot has permissions. So to post a message under OAuth scopes here, um, I'm going to add an OAuth scope. And we're going to do chat write user. And so for this bot, we need to uh, post a message as a particular user in order to use this functionality. So I'm going to reinstall the app to make that happen. And so now we'll have permission. So if you don't do this, you'll, you'll end up getting a forbidden error whenever you try to post a message periodically, okay? And so now uh, this should have all we need. We've already developed the functionality to get a quote and format it. And so we'll post a message to the random channel at a particular time. Uh, we're only four minutes past the hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up to uh, six minutes. And then I'm gonna type chalice deploy. And then we'll watch this deploy, and then we should see an event happen in our CloudWatch messages for this particular Lambda function. So you see we have a Lambda function called market open that's getting deployed and updated. And this should be in the cloud shortly. And when that's done, um, we'll be able to check our CloudWatch logs here for the market open function. And I click that, and you'll see, should see a new timestamp where that executes at uh, six minutes past the hour. And at that point, we should see the message in our Slack channel. Okay, we've hit six minutes on the hour. You'll see there's a new timestamp here and that our function executed. So if I go back to our channel now, you'll see that we have a message uh, at exactly six minutes after the hour with four quotes with a message for each. We have Dow Jones, we have the S&P 500, the Qs, and the Russell 2000 and our messages are now being scheduled and run, running periodically, and that works as expected. So in the next video, I'll show you how to add and remove symbols to a watch list that will store in DynamoDB, and we'll post quotes from the watch list every hour using the rate object. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.